Hello my lovelies. I've had a few people ask me what decks do I use in my readings. So I thought I would take you to um, where I store a lot of my decks and I'll show you. So um, a, a new addition to my quite large collection is the Romantic Fairy Oracle. So in my recent videos on the channel you'll see me using these beautiful vintage style cards. They're reminiscent of um, the Romance Angels deck by Doreen Virtue, uh, but the author is Cherry Enchantress, okay, so if you're interested in those. Um, uh, okay, so in terms of tarot decks, as opposed to oracles, um, so I don't know, this is kind of not the right way to do this, but um, I'll show you some of my, I've got the Haunted House tarot, which I quite like, because it's very, um, what's the word it stays true to the rider weight and i find any um any tarot deck that stays true to the rider weight weight system is easy to read okay um the mystical tarot is quite like classic okay um don't really use them on my channel i haven't lately anyway so but i i was obsessed with that deck for quite some time um the Decameron Tarot is kind of X-rated, right? So if you're looking for something quite sexual, um, if that appeals to your tastes, then, you know, the Tarot of Sexual Magic is another really good one. I've got that one as well, but um, it's not in its box. But it's a well-known, um, you know, sexy type of tarot deck. I really quite like the Trippin Weight Tarot. So I got this on Etsy. Um, but you can go to www.tarotcollectibles.com um, and you can buy, you know, one of those colourful Rider Waite decks. Always a bit of fun. You can also find those holographic ones, you know, like the decks that, um, you know, a holographic, they're really colourful, quite like them. You can get them on Etsy. Um, I really love the Tarot Botticelli so, you know, that artwork is so classic, it's so beautiful, and obviously the gold embossing makes it um, quite special. Okay, um, there's another holographic deck. Um, as you can see, the classic weight tarot. I like the pocket sizes, some of them, um, as long as they're not too small, because then it's just easy for them to slip from your fingers. Um, now, in terms of mediumship readings, uh, I like to get, I like to receive messages from past loved ones using the cards as well. Cards that are a little bit quirky, like the Tarot of the 78 Doors is quite a good deck for mediumship readings. Same with the Sorcerer's, um, the Sorcerer's Tarot, quite unusual artwork, it doesn't really, um, it's not really a, a Rider weight deck. So um, I don't use it typically for my readings on the channel. Um, let's see now. I like the Bianco Nero Tarot. It's black and white. Um, so that's its main point of difference. Really easy to read those cards as well. The light in this room is really bad, guys. It's not, I'm not trying to dim it for romantic reasons or anything like that. It's just, it is what it is. I might need to get an electrician to come in and take a look at it. I've always liked the tarot, let, let me, the tarot um, in Wonderland, quite a good deck. Um, I've got a few of the Moonology Oracle decks, which are good for timing and things like that. Got the Green Witch Tarot, the Druid Animal Oracle. So um, this is my huge collection. It's a little bit disorderly at the moment. The dogs tarot, the, the magical dogs tarot is quite good. Um, now we've got the dark wood tarot. The color, the colors used in that deck are quite dull. I like more of a darker kind of deck. Um, yeah, so interesting that I graduated from oracles and I then as I taught myself the tarot I kind of moved away from a lot of the oracles but the psychic tarot by John Holland was probably one of the first tarot decks that I ever used um, 
got a lot of Doreen virtues there, so uh, yeah, steampunk tarot is pretty cool, but they're a little bit uh, clumsy to shuffle because they're quite large, those cards. So now I'm going to take you to my office. So we're back where all the magic happens, okay? Now I'm surrounded by quite a, a large collection of crystals, you know, for pr protection and to enhance my intuition. That one's a Labradorite. Um, I wanted to show you another John Holland deck that I use is the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. So it's a nice green deck and the cards look like this. So on the channel, they're, they're these ones, okay? And they've got the keywords down the bottom, which I don't normally prefer. Sometimes I don't agree with the meanings that they put on the tarot cards. So I like to keep them quite traditional. Um, here's, here's the tarot Botticelli, the gold embossed, beautiful classic artwork. Um, so quite a fan of these ones. Um, in terms of my love oracle cards, I get a lot from the Marook Etsy store. So I don't know if you can see the logo very well there, and it's obviously going to be in the reverse for you. But she's amazing. Her decks are really, really cool. This one tells you, you know, what is on the person's mind, um, you know, where their head is at when it comes to the connection. Um, I've got another similar deck. Um, called the Charming Oracle Love Messages, Secret Love Messages. This is a really, really good deck. And, you know, it gives you clear, a clear indication of where your person is at, you know. This one says, I just don't know how to act in a committed relationship. Um, okay, another Marook deck, uh, Marook X Etsy store deck that I really love is the Breakup Oracle. Looks like this. And, um, you know, it's just got a whole array of messages to kind of give you an idea of, you know, what they're wanting with you moving forward, if there's a prospect of reconciliation. And then this other deck from Marook X, the Love Fortune Teller. This one's interesting. I don't always use it, but it's just very basic messages, like in love with someone else. Um secretly yearning for you, but you kind of have to fill in the gaps with decks like these. They're not as, by the way, I've got lipstick on my fingers. If you're wondering what it is, I was trying to um, remove it and reapply it before. So anyway, um, I quite love this author. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Ianla Van Zant. She does the uh, Until Today cards. Um, and she does this book that I absolutely love. It's right here, actually. I call it my book of divination. I scored it for $15 at a secondhand bookshop. And, um, but it's actually called, the official name of the book is, um, sorry, until today, I think. Oh, where is it? It's called, um, doesn't make it easy for you does it until today daily devotions for spiritual growth and peace of mind um love the wisdom of the oracle okay so colette baron reed has got to be probably um, one of the best um really profound messages in this oracle and you know it gives you the reversal messages it gives you the cards meaning um in terms of you know, money and career, and then the cards meaning in terms of love, so you can apply it to your situation. Um, so I do have a large collection. I'm a big lover of horror, so I'm always going to be snapping up cards that, you know, um, have zombies and vampires on it. This is the, the Z deck, Tarot Z, so obviously it's zombies. It's good to use around Halloween time. Um, you know, I'm a massive fan of Walking Dead. Let me know in the comments if you are too. Um, it took me a while to kind of get the gist of this deck. Like, you know, sometimes it's hard to kind of instantly know if you're not a lover of Roman numerals, what the card is. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with Roman numerals, but sometimes I have to, 
you know, think about it. So this is the star. You wouldn't immediately think this is the star. You could maybe think it's the tower because of the background, but you can't, you can barely see the stars in the sky, and, but he's looking up at them. Okay. So, um, but yeah, I do quite like the imagery used and I've just bought and I'm waiting for the, the Tarot V deck. So the vampire version, the same artist who did this one. So anyway, um, I do like this deck. I like the the gloss. I like the size of the deck. It's easy to shuffle. Um, some decks are really like quite nice to shuffle. It makes a real difference. So there's that one. Um, what other decks do I have for you that I could show you? I, I just snap up any kind of deck and then I have different uses for each deck. As I said to you, I do mediumship readings using different decks. Decks that have like um, different kind of images on them that I can tap into. Um, and keywords, you know, that this one's flying, um, this one's X. But they're just random messages and, you know, mediumship readings are random. The best mediumship readings will deliver messages to the clients that clearly could only come from a past loved one okay so um that's just my little tip for you today um i like to use animal decks i really have like you know a passion for animals i love animals to death more than i love humans and i care more about when the animals die in shows like walking dead than i do when humans die so i connect <laughs> with the animal realm and so i always like to snap up a good animal oracle and an animal tarot. The Dorian Virtue animal tarot is really good, particularly for career readings, I find. Okay, um, but I've even got really um, obscure decks like this this deck here, Wellness Cards um, by Dr. Libby. These are good for health readings, but they cover like mental health, emotional health, and physical health as well. So, um, I think I've kind of given you a broad overview of the tarot decks that I prefer. Here's my Rider Waite. I've got about six, maybe more Rider Waite decks. They all come in different like textures and, you know, glossy, matte, that kind of thing. Um, and I, I just tend to reach for whatever I'm drawn to on any particular day. So, yeah. Um, I hope that this was helpful and uh, if you need a personal reading, email me, I'll put it in the description box and if you have any questions about the cards I use, um, don't hesitate and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Alright, see you guys, bye!